Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating right here a few apps on your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see this app logo. Click on it. And from here, you're going to see your third option says App Store. In your App Store, you're going to see all your apps that need updating. If there's a specific app that you want to update, and it's not showing up here under the updates category, just look for it. So let's say I don't find Final Cut Pro here. Well, I can just go ahead and look it up. And from here, so I can just go ahead, click on update, and then that's it. But anyways, let's just go back to this screen. And in this screen, you're going to see all your apps. Now, remember, it doesn't matter which Mac you guys have. It's going to be the exact same instructions for all of you. So right now, Final Cut Pro, if we click on more, we're going to see that the update's only 3 gigs. Therefore, it's not going to take too long. And if we look at compressor, it's only 300 megabytes. Again, really, really small update. We can either click on update all or update one at a time. I'm going to update one at a time, although it's the exact same thing. Now, how long does this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. My internet speed's okay right now because I'm not downloading anything or even uploading stuff. Actually, I'm lying. I am uploading some stuff. I'm not downloading anything. So that's why my speed's kind of okay. So as long as you guys see this circle going, it means it's doing its thing. You can hover over it and it's going to tell you some information. Once it's done, then you can go and see down here, it says updated recently. So my compressor's done. And again, as long as I'm hovering over right here, this icon, it tells me how long it's doing the installation for. So downloading for me again was pretty fast because my internet's good right now. However, if I was uploading and downloading stuff or even watching Netflix on the background, something like that, it would be a little bit slower than right now. Anyways, again, once Final Cut Pro is done, it's just going to move down to update it recently, and then we're going to be done. So downloading process really quick. Installation might take longer for some of you, and for others, the downloading time might take longer. It depends on your internet speed. If you do want this to go a lot faster, you could hook up an Ethernet cable directly to your Mac, and that way your internet speed should be faster than through your Wi-Fi. Anyways, right now everything updated, so we're good to go. We can just open up Final Cut Pro. Opening up compressor and we are done with this video at this point in time once again we're all done i'm opening up both so here's compressor and here's final cut pro and that would be it you can see a complete list of features right here or you can just read this that you know tells you like the basics that come with this update as far as this video goes we're all done like i mentioned if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you